Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. So let me show you how to set up your own Olama large language model on your own digital ocean droplets. So you will be able to use the Olama LLMs without any additional costs besides of hosting costs. So if you pay for your droplet, you will be not charged anymore besides of this okay so let me show you how to do this you will be able to use it afterwards also in aematic which is a wordpress plugin which can use the large language models from olama which are also deployed on your digital ocean droplets and if you are new to digital ocean i will leave a link in this video description which will grant you a 100 dollars sign up bonus so go ahead guys and use the link from this video description and the benefit of this huge bonus for sign up and you will be able to spend this for your droplet usage okay so this being said let me go ahead and get started with installation so olama is this little platform here which can host large language models it can also be installed remotely on droplets and uh, let us get started with this method so let's log into our DigitalOcean dashboard click create droplets and you will be greeted by this screen here select a region which is closest to your server or which you want to use afterwards we can go ahead and select ubuntu for example the latest version it's okay and here in the droplet size and uh, specification we will need to check the model that we wish to use so how to check this is that you log into olama library so the model library you will find here tons of models so you will see here many many models and you need to select the one that you wish to use and check its size so models are 8b 70b 0.5b this is billion parameters this is how you translate this and select the model that you want to use and also check the minimum system requirements for the size of the model so for example for 7b models a minimum this is bare minimum so keep in mind if you go lower than this it will not work so a bare minimum of four gigabytes of rom you will need for this and also for larger model you will see larger requirements so if we select for example llama 2 because uh, this one is a bit older and it has a bit lower requirements you will see that the 7b model of llama 2 will have 8 gigabyte of ram requirement and the 7tb model generally use 64 gigabytes of ram so your droplet will have uh, will have to have this um, amount of memory for the language model to work correctly also as you can see here if you select large models you will need large droplets so let's select for example let's say that i want to use llama 3 but the 8b version of it and the 8b version should work with 8 or even better 60 uh, gigabytes of ram <coughs> of ram but uh, yeah so we can select a basic or memory optimized cpu optimized droplets if you want you can select also memory optimized droplets but these are more expensive as you can see the cpu optimized droplets are also okay and you can go also with the basic but be sure to set at least four gigabytes of ram as uh, if you go lower it will fail and it will not work so let's select this time the eight gigabyte version with four cpus and uh, let's create this droplet with setting a password okay and all we have to do is give it a name and move myself out of the way here so we can re reveal the create droplet button and uh, 
we go now and check the process of uh, how this will work and installation should not take more than a couple of minutes only and this will be ready soon afterwards we need to log into the console and uh, all we have to do after we are logged into the console is run these commands these commands will be also available in this video description so you will be able to copy them directly from there so let me move myself back here a bit and while we're done this we already are finished with installation of our droplet so we have now uh, we will need to set up and install our droplet access because if we want to log into our droplet console we are unable to do this okay okay so let me show you how to log into your console so click here and click launch recovery console so here you will be granted this if you need to log in simply type root as uh, you see here and afterwards type the password that you set at installation so don't forget the user is always root on linux so root with lowercase letters and afterwards add the password that you used in installation so after you've done this you will be able to set up these commands so first of all copy the fourth command from the command line okay so it seems that we don't have here paste access no problem we will be setting up then the recovery this is the recovery console because of this so let's type uh, this command that they recommend so we get q https repos droplet digital ocean dot com install sh sudo sorry bash okay so installing droplet agent setting up droplet agent so this is needed so we will be getting access to our droplet agent which will be much better than this recovery console so after this is installed we will be ready to close this close and click console again okay so after you've done this and uh, you will be able to click access and click launch droplet console and you will be getting this screen so this is the correct console where you have uh, much better access with copy paste support and all other stuff so once you have this you will be able to copy and paste the script so we are downloading now olama and uh, the process is starting so i cut myself out of the screen okay so the olama api is now available and if you test this on your system you should not be able to access this url but actually this is our local url so we are misled here you should copy the ip address of your droplet paste it and now you should not be able to access this can be reached okay now that we got this out of the way we will be going forward and set start the olama service so paste this 
also run the language model that you need by doing olama run and the name of the model so keep in mind the name of the model should be uh, imported from here the models the library of olama so select the model that you want to use and use its name directly here so let's run this and when we run this you will see that the olama will download a large file which is actually the language model and it will install it to its system so after you've done this we should do this stuff so installation will be soon ready let us check this and we have some small things to download and some things to verify and afterwards we will be getting our large language model installed to our Olama setup here from DigitalOcean so we have a success and here you can already type your message so if you write hi the large language model should be able to respond hello it's nice to meet you so now let's uh, push Ctrl D on our keyboard to exit the Olama communication and now we can continue okay so now we will be needing to I added some lines actually and we will be needing to execute the next command so this one will be needed to be executed to allow public access to our server so keep in mind if you enable public access to your server then anyone who knows that you have olama installed on this server you it, it will they will be able to use your um, server and its resources to create their own ai content so keep in mind if you do this check also be sure to keep your ip address hidden and uh, not public from the internet and also if you know uh, secure your connection and allow only some ip addresses to connect to your server the ip addresses which you know so yeah I am running also Olama free just to show you guys that you can run multiple models on your uh, website web server so while this is loading we will be able to actually test this so all we have to do is uh, copy and we will see that we, we access the DigitalOcean IP address and this port so this is in, important to add only this port so 11434 this is the port which olama makes public and you will see this message because the commands that we last entered to our console enabled public access to olama and now everyone who knows this url will be able to access olama so i as i said before if you want to secure this you will need to set up digitalocean and your ubuntu server to allow connections only from a specific ip address or a range of ip addresses which you know so if you want let me know in the comments and i will show you also this in a separate video how to do it okay now what you need to do is copy this ip address and port and go to aimatic settings and now we have set this to use the local host model which let me show you in the chatbot what models it has set up currently locally on my server so i have mistral fee free and llama free so let's replace this with the DigitalOcean IP address and also the port and let's save. So after we've done this, go and click refresh Olama model list 
OK. And you should get this success message refresh successfully. And if we refresh our uh, Olama test here, we should see that the model is changed to the Llama 3 and Llama 2 models, which are installed now on our DigitalOcean droplet, which has the Olama installed. So let's set this to Llama 2 for now and let's save. And now we can ask the chatbot to start the communication with our Olama server. So depending on the specifications of your droplet, the server speed might be lower. So you will seeing you will be seeing here much longer processing speeds. As you see now, the AI model it takes a very long time to process and also responses will come slower. So if you increase the uh, droplets uh, performance, you will see also an increase in the model speed. So if you have lower end uh, droplets, then you will see slower response generation as you see here. But if you create a 64 gigabyte droplet, with um, some high-end CPUs in DigitalOcean, then you will be seeing here much faster response creation times. Okay, so this is how I showed you how to set up Olama in DigitalOcean. So what I want to say also, don't bother using my uh, server URL because I will delete my DigitalOcean droplet after I finish this video. So keep in mind DigitalOcean sign up URL linked in this video description which will grant you a large amount of money as a sign up bonus. Also AMATIC is linked in this video description. I will link also the minimum requirements for you also the Olama library from where you will be able to select a model and uh, this is everything you will need to get this started so this is how you will be able to set up your olama server and to start using your own large language models and what is very cool is that you can even customize models and create custom models for olama just check their uh, documentation from here from github and you will see that you will be able, besides of using this huge library of models, you can customize the model and import, customize the prompt, and many, many more features will be available to you using this Olama, which will be available for you on your own DigitalOcean droplet starting from now. Well, okay, so I covered everything, links in description, thank you for watching until then, the like, share, subscribe if you want more similar videos in the future, it's really appreciated, thank you for watching until then, this is all for today, over and out, have a nice day, bye bye.